it's Queen DJ and in today's video I will be reacting to episode 4 of season 2 of a regular at Magic High School so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Give me that burst of energy after I watched a really stupid horror movie. <laughs> I just want to know, how is she going to explain this? Huh. Well, I mean, yeah, you could just shoot at him. That usually helps. Not real. Oh, damn. Oh, but it's too late for that. Oh. Well, that's smart. Mm. Okay. So, let's talk about the ish that I kind of talked about last week. And I didn't remember the arc name of it. And I remembered it today because somebody else was tweeting about it today on my timeline for Twitter. Uh, Remember its arts. That arc is the arc I'm currently reading manga-wise. And I'm all, I'm still I'm like a couple of pages into chapter three or chapter four I don't remember but like I said that is just so freaking important to the story I just need to animate it so you know whenever they want to do season three hell if they really wanted to they could possibly put it in this season I don't know but you got you're showing those two kids. Because those two kids were just right there. And I'm like, oh. It would make the most sense. But I get it. I mean. Do they have time to do it for the season? Probably not. Hmm. Let's see if this is done. Mm hmm. No. Okay. I'm just waiting until the episode's over and check it. True. Of course. <laughs> okay, we're going that way. Hmm, makes sense. Can you dodge that, though? I mean, you OB as fuck, so yeah. Yeah, because we were just, our main focus was her. Babe. <laughs> of course, yes.
Yeah, because not everybody needs to know that. Yeah, because she really liked you. <laughs> but because you know you gotta die. <laughs> oh. Of course she would tail her brother. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> That's just life. I mean, mm. His best girl, Claire, right there. Oh my god! Is she just gonna hurt you really, really bad, and that's okay. <laughs> you might want to step back. Of course. No, oh, we can't draw blood, just like a little bit. For good luck. You know she about to kick Lena's ass, right? <laughs> Try.
you know she's going to deflect that too? I mean, see, you tried. Just, you know, throw that white fly. Like, go ahead. See, why the hell didn't y'all step the fuck back? I mean, we... <laughs> oh, pretty! Really, Tatia? I, I get the fact that you had to do that. Huh? <laughs> I know. I mean, you're right about that, but still... Hmm? Okay. Because, of course, I can't be like, okay, because of this reason, because... Mm, makes sense. Wow, that was a good battle. I mean, ooh, that was just as good as me. It's a sheet to go in season one. Oh. Oh, uh, that's a mood. Literally me. <laughs> when I wake up in the mornings. It's okay. It's okay. You tried your best, though. A for effort. But, I mean, seriously, you got your ass beat. So just accept it. Yeah, where is she? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm.
Okay. I mean, because you know, because he summoned all of you, it is how important. <laughs> Yeah, and plus, I think if you guys did this in public, I mean... There could be like over a hundred plus or a hundred plus. Okay. Yeah, and you have the right to summon them. So don't blame yourself. But that's it. I mean, nothing else. <laughs> okay. written all over your face. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. Even though she could have killed you like that, I mean. They're so fucking cute, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so done with these two. Like, oh my god. It's just too much with them, but I love them both so much. Huh. I just. I feel like now that, you know, he, he's had this conversation with Miyumi, Umi, Jumanji. Erica, Mikihiko, Erica and Mikihiko, they're, they're gonna go do something, of course, they're gonna, you know, probably go undercover, something, I don't know, Omi, Jumanji, I have no, I have no feeling what the hell they'll do, but, like, I get the fact that he, it, she's right, like, he has become a lot more compassionate, I mean, as someone who binged the, <laughs> season one, not once, but twice, it, it's still so weird to see how much he's grown from only one whole season and a couple of episodes leading into season two. And then also reading um, the Remembrance arc, because in that arc, he seems like a completely different person from the way his body language is, the facial expressions that he makes, even though sometimes Tatsuya has a resting bitch face, and we all know it. I mean, because sometimes you cannot read, like, how he's truly feeling unless he, you know, goes ahead and sometimes he even tells, like, his emotions and stuff, but sometimes he, he's, a, he's a guy who really likes to hide his emotions, and I'm okay with that, but then at the same time, I want to be like, dude, what the fuck are you thinking about? How are you feeling right now? Do you, do you want to cry? I mean, have you ever cried or something? I, I just, oh, oh God, there, there's so many unanswered questions, but I still need to continue or, and or finish the rest of the arc that I'm currently reading for it, because, like I said, their relationship together is so good. And from what I read, like a couple other, um, another chapter from like two, three nights ago and how, um, him and Miyuki went to this ball and he, um, he was on the sidelines just like guarding and everything. And Miyuki got to talk to her cousins and her uncle. And of course, like her uncle was saying, mm, he he wasn't as as bad as like Aunt Maya was because Aunt Maya is very like she's out there and she's going to be completely and totally honest about it while her cousin and her uncle were like and eh, not so much and so I'm like okay I'm like here's another freaking reason why I can't stand Aunt Maya but I still like her so much because she is interesting and I hope we get a backstory on her. Maybe, I mean, because since this is really just at the end of the day, Tatsuya and Miyuki's, you know, story and their show, they're going to get the most development. I mean, everybody else is also going to get development, but those two are going to get the absolute most at the end of the day. The fight between Miyuki and Lena, that was a really good fight. The music. Can we talk about the music? I mean, once again, like, season one soundtrack, like, was not like everything i mean i wish i could find that ish on apple music and listen to it all over again because it's so good but just that theme when those two were fighting i just wanted to be like mm, what the hell is the name of this song i'm gonna listen to it over and over again but the one thing that sucks is because this show is slowly but surely coming out i'm guessing the soundtrack isn't gonna come out until 
sometime next year and i mean when they have really good songs same thing with video game soundtracks and you want to know and some people will go and try to get the audio but then sometimes it's not the cleanest but you have to work with it until the official version comes out but like i i want that song please because it was too good i mean oh loved it so damn much but i mean honestly i have no clue what the hell is gonna happen next i i really hope still that um Leon, because, you know, he's stuck at the hospital still. I, I just still don't want anything to happen to him. Praying to God nothing happens to him. So keep him safe. That's all. But, you know, hey, we ain't gonna know. We ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season two of The Irregular at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode five. Bye, guys.